No. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make a cheap microphone sound good. Hey buddies, welcome back to the amazing channel. You hear the echo noise? It's because I don't have a bed. <laughs> Not in here anymore. I'm renting my brother's room because he moved out and then I moved in. And now I have this as my office space. This mic right here, newer, newer mic. This cost 20 bucks or 30 bucks on Amazon. I think 20 at the time I got this. I tested the sound of this before. In my honest opinion, I would save up my money to get the Audio-Technica 2020 or save another $100 and get yourself the AT2035. Use what you got to get where you got to go. I know I talk big talk like, oh, invest in a bigger mic, but if this is all you got, I completely understand. Use this until you can afford a better one. I'm gonna do a quick little harmony thing that I learned from Brie Brie. Check her YouTube channel out. She's making a new song. <laughs> and that's without all of my hacks and tips. So we can compare. This unscrews at the bottom. Like what microphone unscrews at the bottom like this? Tip number one, use a pop filter. If you can invest maybe nine to $16 more, you can get a pop filter. Or if you wanted to get long lasting pop filter because most of my broke, I got this one. <laughs> Look, it's covering my whole face. XL, I'll leave the link in the description. I love this so far. Quality of this pro screen is honestly the best. Like it has this little support base right here and bam yeah there we go you see and you want to keep it like two inches from here those sounds horrendous and i will do a test without and with it eat some pizza eating pizza some people live and if you don't have the extra funds to get a pop filter either cheap or expensive i would say to get rid of the p sounds uh, i'm just trying this now maybe hold a scarf this is my doggy's little scarf p -p i hope it doesn't add more Peter Piper pickle picked a pepper. Peter Piper picked a peck of peppers. You see? So, taking out the p, it really makes your mic sound more clean, especially when you're recording a song. It just sounds better and more pleasant to the ear rather than some going p. Step number two, record in the most quiet space possible. If you can hear the echo in my room, it's because the bed isn't here to absorb that sound, so. Echo. And that is gonna make your mix, your recording, sound like a tin can. With or without a cheap mic like this, any mic, regardless whether being $10,000 or $10, it's always recommended to sing in a space where there's a lot of sound absorption. These aren't soundproof, those are acoustic foam panels and it helps reduce the echo. I got some soundproof panels, I don't know how well these will work, but I'm gonna place them in my closet studio. I turned my new closet closet into a studio booth. I clip some blankets around and there's clothes or pillows and comforters everywhere. And I got my isolation booth. If you put pillows around, that works too, or blanket. If anything, put a thick blanket over your head. Try not to suffocate. <sighs> this is heavy. I think this is a weighted blanket. I'm like not joking. Oh my god, I'm sweating. I don't even know how clear the quality is. Guys, it's so dark in here. Now I'm gonna try this in the studio closet. Okay guys, so I set up my little microphone into this. Again, you don't need this. Like, you can do the blanket method. But if you do have this, and you do have a closet, and then also these soundproof panels that I hope would do some work. I put a blanket, a soft blanket around the isolation booth to also get the top as well. Before recording, put it to negative six dB so that you can raise it up and it lowers the white noise in the background. And here I'm setting it up. I'm doing a vocal stack. I'll show that in another video, but I'm gonna do highs, lows, and middles. <laughs> Ha ha, na na, ooh. Ha ha, na na. Ha ha, na na. Ha ha, na na.
So step number three, you gotta process these vocals. I'm not professional at this, I'm just gonna voice over it. Alright, let's go do it. So this is a recording without it being negative 6 dB and without pop filter and without being in the closet. <laughs> This is what I just recorded in the closet, and I recorded in negative 6 dB. Ha, ha, na, na, ooh. I'm gonna solo out one of these tracks. Ha, ha. I'm going to do a compression first. Use any compression that works best for you and your voice, but I got this plugin, and it's so simple. I just put it to negative 12. Um, I put the gain to negative 6. Ooh. This keeps the audio from spiking and it's leveling it off. So now I'm gonna take an EQ and cut out the lower end. Any muffling noise, you won't be able to hear it as much. You cut it off. And here, I'm just seeing what sounds muddy. So that's my audio sound waves and it seems like in between 100 hertz to 260 hertz my voice sounds stronger in a certain frequency so I'm gonna level that out by um, pinpointing that area and then taking it down below. It gets rid of the muddy sound. And if you want to boost the higher end um, to make it a bit more crisp, but don't go too crazy. Everybody's voice is different, so your audio waves might look in a different place than mine. Your frequencies of your voice might be different from mine, so just try to level out as much as you can. Okay, after that, you're going to go to Reverb, Space Designer, and just put it very slight. Na -na. Ooh. You're gonna do the same exact thing to each harmony part. Try to just copy and paste it. Um, open your mixer, just drag and drop. That's what I did on Logic Pro 10. If you have a different DAW, um, I'm not too sure exactly, but I'm, I know that if it's a good DAW, you'll have these options as well. I'm gonna pan two of the tracks left and right, and then keep one in the middle. The one in the middle is where you're gonna put the reverb. Ooh. You're gonna do this to each part of the harmony and um, the middle is the one where you add reverb. Record it three times so um, it gives a fuller effect. So when you wear headphones and listen to this, you can hear it sounds more whole and full. Then when you play it all together, this is what it sounds. You can either trim out the breaths yourself and zoom in and clip it out or you can use a noise gate and I added that as well and I don't know which one sounds better but this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Alright buddies, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe and give this a thumbs up and check all the links down below. If you want to upload your songs to Spotify, iTunes, and all of that, go to distrokid.com, VIP slash amazing, get 7% off. You can upload unlimited songs and I am proud to say that my first song on Spotify is coming out soon. Do I gotta ask to be on my own? Do I gotta wait when you go slow? Do I gotta hate? Do I gotta hate?